Hello, this video will show you how to make your scale experiment in Procreate. So first you need to bring your images into Procreate as two separate files. When you do that, then you can crop them and make sure that you have all of the parts of the image that you want to use. So do that for both images, your background and your foreground image. And also you can use the tools in Procreate to straighten your image and make sure that you have it square or cropped how you would like it to be cropped. Once you have your images, you can copy and paste one on top of the other. And it really doesn't matter which one goes on top. Then this example, I put the painting on top of the location and then I enlarge the painting using the arrow tools. And then in the layers palette, so that you can see what you're doing, you can lower the opacity on the painting image because it's easier to see what you're erasing out and how you're sizing it to fit the space. You can raise it up later, which we'll do in this example. But for now, the opacity is pretty low and now I can use the tools that are underneath that arrow tool to fit my image to the space. So this space is slightly distorted because of the way that I photographed it. So I'm using the warp tool. And then you can also use the uniform or the free form depending on how your space looks. So the other really handy thing to do is to really zoom in so that you can fit those edges right to the edges of your space, of your location. So I'm doing that and I actually, I turned on advanced mesh on the warp tool because that helps you, gives you more target areas to pull. And then what you'll do is you'll go through and erase out the things that are supposed to be on the, in the foreground of the image. So in this example, there's a light fixture and I lowered the um, opacity of the brush that I chose and I'm using the chalk brush for some of it because I don't want it just to be like a big flat open space. I'll go through later and refine it. And then I toggle between that and a more, um, a smaller brush or something a little more refined for the edges. And when you're doing this, you just zoom in real close and it's almost like you're drawing, but you're drawing with the eraser. And so I'm going around the edges first. These lights are really bright, so it looks like I'm just taking out a big white space, but they're actually the lighting fixture. So you can see it when I go to the metal part and I'm taking the kind of pink color off of the metal of the light fixture. Now I'm doing that with the eraser and just zooming in and out, erasing the parts of the image that are not on the wall so they stick out from the wall and you go through and do that for all of these um, try different brushes so now that i have those edges i am i did go to a more solid looking brush to get some of the big spaces out to erase out the more complex edges overlap your painting with the edge of the paint of the picture underneath. So in this case, there's a piece of crown molding. So I overlapped the painting with that. And then now you just erase the painting and the same goes for these edges. So you can pull the eraser line and hold the Apple pencil and it will snap to a straight line. And you can keep going through that just to refine them. So here's another piece of crown molding. Another step you can take to refine the erased out spaces is to hide your location photo, and then go to the background layer of the image and change the color of it so that you can really see your erased out spaces. For this image, I think I kept it mostly white. And then I went through and I just, anything that looked kind of um, like there might be some messy edges, I cleaned those up a little bit. It doesn't need to be completely erased because you do want it to look realistic. Then you can go into the opacity and slide the opacity slider around to reveal what it will look like. Remember to keep some shadows 
So do not make it completely opaque and then you'll export it as a JPEG. This is just a very quick example and every step isn't in this one, but here I'm cropping the painting down and then I copy this painting and paste the image of the location with it. Um, I move the layers around and then start to refine it using the warp tool and the opacity and the eraser. So again, I hope you have fun with this. Try some experiments. Try your painting in a variety of locations and see what it looks like.